Thank you, Edwin. Nailing the countdown. I always like to thank. Cha 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 cha. Uh, you guys don't know how many awesome production people we actually have around us, and sometimes we have one person watching, sometimes we have four, sometimes we have a dog sleeping. That's usually the case. She is sleeping. Jason Terry is the topic of conversation because Jason Terry had some bold words for Clay Thompson. Bold. And we are getting into a shooting guard debate right after it. Here's the quote from Jason the Jet Terry. Quote, in terms of Clay Thompson, Clay Thompson's not leading shit. He doesn't make shots. How effective is he? Go watch Thompson versus James Harden from last year and see what LeBron James did to him. Every time James got by him, you know who was there? Draymond Green or Andrew Bogut. I'm not a Clay Thompson hater. It's just when you put him against James Harden, there's no comparison. Before we get into who is the better player, Clay Thompson or James Harden, because that's a super fun debate to have, I have a big question for Francis and the world, really. Why is it that we debate off of occasionally a hypothetical statement. If you take away Clay Thompson's shooting, no one's ever said, well, if you take away Shaq's size, <laughs> you know, what would he be like? Well, if you take away AI's handles. If you take away Steph Curry's hands, <laughs> what's he gonna do? <laughs> Dribble this with is, his. <laughs> I, just, I just don't like, I just don't like this, this quote. Why <laughs> you just don't like it at I all? I just don't like, like, I like Jason Terry, but I just don't get it. It's like, for one, comparing Clay Thompson to James Harden, I don't think is a comparison that even Clay Thompson or most people would care about because here's the thing. James Harden has enjoyed being the sole figure on the Houston Rockets. Yes. Gets the majority of the offense to run through him. Has the ability to lead that and drive to the hoop. Yes, that he's better than Clay Thompson and pull, and, and pull up and take almost very competitive shots. But Klay Thompson isn't the star man. He fits well into a system that, I don't know James Harden, probably he could or he could not. I'm taking the example of OKC fitting into a system where they already have two really main prominent figures. Did it fit in as well? Cause conflicts more than anything else. Yeah, I mean, If you put him into Golden State Warriors, are they back-to-back -back NBA finalists? What? Are they one cha are they champions? Francis, the more know. important question here is like, take away James Harden's legs. <laughs> And he can't what does even he do? drive to the basket. Yeah, you taking know? away someone's main asset and what makes them so uh, enjoyable to watch and makes them so good is a ridiculous argument. It's like, it just doesn't make sense. What, oh, Stephen Hawking is a really good scientist, but take away his brain. <laughs> Point. Francis, uh, would you rather have two legs and one arm or one arm and two, uh, or, and one arm? Would you rather have two arms and one leg or two legs and one arm? Two legs, one arm. I'm not a football player. It's natural. That's I need to fair. be able to kick. I'd go with the peg leg all day long. You would? Uh, yeah. All right. I made a, a chart. <laughs> it's my new way of... Oh, this is an old Jason uh, Rubin chart. chart. Uh, uh, mathematically, statistically, uh, yes, James Harden all around is the better player, but I made two kind of points towards the end that I think are most important. Points per game, assists per game, rebounds per game, James Harden. True shooting percentage, three-point percentage. Uh, true shooting percentage is the same, five, uh, uh, 59%. Uh, Three-point and field goal percentage, obviously, Clay Thompson. Minutes per game, uh, Harden leads the league, uh, so don't take that away. Turnovers, uh, Harden, because he leads the league in minutes and he's got 33% usage, of course he's going to turn the ball over more. And he, he handles the ball more. Clay is not a ball handler. Mm -hmm. He does not handle the balls. He does not handle the rock as much as James Harden does. But I ask you this. If both are, on, or bo if both are the best players on their team, right, Neither team is winning a title. Very true. Okay. But I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, James Harden right now against the competition in the Western Conference, it is very, very unlikely that, for one, he can get out of the Western Conference in the first place because uh, when they go up against teams like the Warriors uh, and the Spurs, they are just heavily, heavily outmatched. I know they can beat the Clippers. We've seen that happen. And then if you do get through that and you have to face LeBron James, everyone at this point should very well understand that LeBron alone would roll through that Houston Rockets team of last year. This year it's a bit different. I understand that too. However, uh, if both are the second best player on your team paired with a superstar that is better than them, so not in Dwight Howard's case, but if you gave, you know, well, he already has. Klay Thompson is not the best player on his team. But if both are the second best players on their team, Klay Thompson's team is winning the championship because Klay Thompson's team, Klay Thompson's role in spacing and playing defense is more important to the title, to the team aspect of the game mm -hmm. than James Harden. But if you're going to play him one-on-one, -on -one, 
I am pretty sure James Harden is the better one-on-one -on -one player. I'm pretty sure James Harden is the better overall player, but not the best player suited to win you a championship by themselves. So if you're building a team, I would take Klay Thompson as your second player instead of having James Harden as your second player. However, give James Harden LeBron James and you know what happens. Look, he already had, he had the Thunder, he had Durant, had Westbrook. They didn't win a title. And that's the thing. Is I don't, it poses a question is, does James, is James Harden willing to go into a team and be the second best player? Or was, is he more equipped in his own mindset to be, the number, to one. be the number one, right? Yes. And what happens is, uh, this is a point I was going to make, is like, I have a very broad outlook on the NBA that, that I think we are all, all these players that are thriving in the industry the way it's going today and all the different uh, attributes that make them the, the best player in the NBA, I think they're all victim of a post-LeBron James NBA, right? A guy who is so athletic, but also so good at every kind of aspect of the game. Very good defensively. His three-point could use some work, yeah, but at times he can use it. Uh, his mid-range jumper. He's just, he's over, he's like a master of all trades, but also uh, even more masterful at some. So what happens is when you have these talented players, everyone wants to try and pick them apart and strengthen each area that they need to work on because of a LeBron James, who we know and hold in such high regard. So Clay Thompson can't just be good at shooting and add to an already very good team. No, you know, there's things there that he needs to work on and all these things to be that well-rounded player. What happens if he doesn't need to be that well-rounded player? What happens if he just needs to be Some, a very good second string player? He needs to be the Scottie Pippen to a Steph Curry. Like there's players out there that need to play that role. Absolutely. You don't need to compare him to a James Harden. That's why I don't think it's a decent comparison because I think that Clay Thompson's competent being a number two. I think that James it's Harden could be competent being a number two. Clay Thompson's single best quality is being completely okay handing off shots to Steph Curry and eventually handing off shots to Kevin Durant. That's his absolute best quality. It's a selfless quality. And when called upon to dig your team out of a major hole, he's proven he can do that. Now, there is a James Harden fan base that is simply not going to hear those words. By all means, comment away about the beard. But given a team setting, you want Klay Thompson. James Harden, as the best player on your team, has not, has not proven he can do it yet, and will take a lot more than what they have. Now, that also goes on the organization. A lot of people, the only really counter I can see to this is, well, we've never seen Klay Thompson on another team, right? He's only played in this system, and that's fair. It's a fair argument, but if you're going to make that argument, we've seen James Harden on two teams, and what has he to, done to show for it? in terms of getting to a finals or getting uh, out of the Western Conference finals, and he hasn't done that yet. Mm -hmm. So there's counters and pros. And my biggest problem with Jason Terry's quote is the hypotheticals. Well, take away LeBron's athleticism. Take away LeBron's strength, right? In, is LeBron that great of a defender without his strength? Yes, we'll just, we'll, we could just go about this all day. Well, Phil Mickelson's a great putter. Take away his putter. Putting. What is he? What's he going to do? How's he going to get that ball in the hole? Take away our comment section. And what are we? We're nothing. We're nothing. We're nothing without them. Comment below. What do you think? My God, this is going to get ripped out of context. I don't even know what the question. I'm not going to give a question. You decide. Just comment. Yeah. You comment below with the question you think I should give in the comment section. And I will answer with a clue. That's a very it's dangerous like reverse, question, It's Jason. reverse Jeopardy. It's, which is just a normal Q&A. Uh, <laughs> like, favorite, subscribe to the channel. It goes a really long way. Uh, Alex Trebek over there is at Francis underscore Maxwell on Twitter. I say that because there's a video with him as Alex Trebek at Jason Ruben 91 and other places. We're playing 2K. Uh, well, this clip's on Sunday. We played 2K yesterday. Check it out. Check it out.